Hi everyone and welcome back to Thrifted Living. My name is Kieran. So today I would like to share a video with you that is a bit of an update about how everything's been going um, medically for me. So before I start the video, I just want to let you know that this video will contain discussion of medical stuff, um, how I'm feeling, um, you know, just sort of related to like health, like all, like my health um, completely. So um, if that's something that is sensitive, like if you're sensitive to that, you know, do, you do not have to watch this video. Um, I just really like to make sure that people are aware of that before I start filming a video because I know it's something that I can be sensitive to and so I really like to make sure that I am um, being as cautious and like caring when it comes to these situations because I definitely um, have some sensitivity to these things. I wanted to stop here today and talk with you guys a little bit about a recent doctor's appointment that I had. Um, and I did share a little bit about this on Instagram. And um, so I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of information about how the doctor's appointment went and um, sort of like what the plan is moving forward, I guess. Um, so if you've been following my channel for a while, either this channel or my Thrifted Living Vlogs channel. I have a separate channel that I have posted some vlogs on. Um, I talked about how I had some like visual things going on. I was having issues with my vision. I went to my eye doctor and the eye doctor didn't see anything concerning um, that would cause her to um, think that it was like a, oh my gosh, what's it called? Retinal detachment. Um, you know, she's like, everything looks fine. Um, so she actually suggested that I went to a neurologist. And this is actually the second neurologist that I've gone to. One of my other doctors suggested that, that I go there to see if some of the things that I was experiencing were actually seizures. Um, and I was completely, I worked with a neurologist for several months. They ended up saying there were no concerns and um, they dismissed me and I didn't need to go to the neurologist anymore. Um, and I did have like EEGs and stuff like that. Um, and so this is actually the second neurologist I've worked with. So this neurologist I went to maybe like a month ago or so. And no, not a month ago, a couple months ago. And, um, you know, she thought that maybe some of what I'm experiencing is migraine activity, um, but she wanted to make sure. So she had ordered a, an MRI of my brain. This is actually the third MRI that I've had of my brain. I had that done in like April or so and, uh, I had the follow-up appointment for just a couple days ago and so I was able to go to the neurologist and talk with her and she reviewed the findings of the um, the MRI. She said there was nothing too concerning. Um, she did say that I have uh, cysts in my sinuses which I know I have had those. Um, I've had those were the first thing that was ever actually found on my MRI um, and I ended up having to have a procedure to um, help with the cyst. It's, it's, it was a pretty interesting procedure. It wasn't painful, honestly, but, um, yeah, it was pretty interesting. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I ended up having that procedure, which helped a little bit with the sinuses, um, with the cysts that I have, but I still have cysts in my sinuses. And, um, and that's what the doctor, the ENT that I went to said that, I had a couple options for how I would proceed with the issue with my sinuses. I knew that the option that I chose would not completely like get rid of the cyst, but it definitely did help it. That was the one finding. The other finding that she talked about um, that was kind of a new piece of information for me is that I have something called a Chiari um, and I don't fully understand everything about it yet, um, but it seems like it's something with like how your brain is in your skull and it's like location of like where not like it's location of where it is but like how far it sits like down in your skull hearing that i have this chiari um it's definitely a new piece of information for me she said it's slight i don't think that there's really any treatment needed for mine at this point so that's good i'm thankful for that um and she said those were like the two main things that were present at the mri um you know i it's interesting, like knowing everything with my heart that's going on now, I'm going to be going to a doctor for that. Um, you know, learning more about like specifically what is going on has been really interesting because I'm just, as I've said in like the last video, how much of all of this is connected. When I went to the neurologist, I told her, you know, that I just had a, a recent diagnosis of um, bicuspid aortic valves and um, aortic stenosis. 
and she actually thought it was kind of interesting that I was talking about that and you know I was also talking about how I have these like near fainting feelings. She actually ordered um, an MRI but it's of your arteries in your neck which is interesting because the, um, the eye doctor actually suggested that. She thought maybe we should look at the blood flow. Um, I think these are called your carotid arteries. Um, she you know, was thinking maybe we should look at the blood flow and see how that is. So I'm going to have, I think it's called an MRA actually. Um, so I'm going to be having that next week actually, I think, or a little later than that, I can't remember. I made a bunch of appointments yesterday because I also think I broke a tooth yesterday. Which is, it is what it is. I, I don't have great teeth, so I'm kind of used to it. Once they look at the blood flow in my neck, then we'll be able to see, you know, is there anything related? Like, is, is there anything else going on um, in terms of blood flow and everything? I don't know, I'm thankful that, you know, I was able to find this out now. I'm grateful that my doctor heard the murmur and now I can start this journey of, you know, this diagnosis. I just wanna say I'm so thankful to all of you for all of your support and the kind comments that you sh shared on my recent video talking about my health because it's scary. The support and encouragement and the kind words that you guys have all shared with me, I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful for all of you and your support. So that's kind of the update. Um, I'm gonna have this MRA of my um, arteries in my neck um, and following up with a cardiologist, see what the process will be like for that. Thank you all so much for all of your support and your kind words. Thank you for watching today's video and I will make sure to keep you guys updated on what else is going on. And I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye.